Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead Pater with you today. I've been out working and suddenly I went, why do I not have my camera? I, I work, work, work. If I can pick this up and show you. This is what I'm working on today. Today is October 18th. So we're basically going into the third week of October, guys, and I am still picking tomatoes endlessly <laughs> in my Back to Eden garden. So I stopped what I was doing and I went and grabbed the camera because I want to share these moments with you because even in my homesteading group, I get a lot of questions about Back to Eden gardening, lasagna style gardening, organic gardening. And I think it's important to share with you success and failures equally, okay? Because we all want to be self-sustainable and we want to know what works. I'm going to stick with this method, guys, okay? This area up here, which you've seen 1.65 million times, it's on the other side of my house, the back side. I call it the smaller garden, although it's really not that small. Um, this was my first base garden. I started with lasagna gardening, okay? I have videos on that, talked about that. Um, this year we added the wood chips can't speak enough about it and here's what I'm telling you and why. It's one thing to know that this method works but to see how this method operates in extreme weather I think is imperative. Why? We have not had rain here on this homestead since the third week of August, maybe pushing into the fourth week of August. I've said this multiple times, we have had no rain it is unbelievable how dry and how big of a drought that we are up here, okay? I know down in the valley, um, airport area in Knoxville and whatnot, it's been a, they've had some rain showers. I think they said yesterday, five weeks ago, a month ago or whatever, not here. We are exceptionally dry and in drought, yeah, I would say here. But this is going on. So even in an extreme weather situation, the Back to Eden Garden is working. I have basil, I still have flowers, I have volunteer plants coming up over here with all of my cucumbers, I have volunteer tomatoes. Guys, if, honestly, if they sat a little bit longer, I think they might even produce. I mean, it's warm, but what I'm talking about is the weather. What does that mean? The soil is not only exceptional, but also it remains moist because these wood chips are keeping all of that moisture compacted down into the ground, okay? So, do you have to have 100 tomato plants to be productive? I argue no. You need to have an effective method, and Back to Eden is certainly proving to be that on this farm, and we're going to continue to push forward. I encourage you to continue to get your resources. It's fall. The leaves, guys, you have so many leaves. Most of you folks out there that have uh, this deciduous trees all around you, get with your neighbor, get with your mammal. Offer to go rake their leaves. Put it in bags. Take it home. Put it here. Make friends with a farmer, okay? Guys, they probably got goat poop and chicken manure and cow patties that they would love to donate to you, okay? At least enough to help out your garden. Start building your soil now. I say that generically, but that's, tip, that's, that's the way I put it. Start in the fall, okay, and start building your method. You need this to sit and to, to cook and to bake and to ripen and to, and to be what you need it to be for next spring. I also continue to tell you, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm sounding like a broken record, y'all. Cattle panels. They're not, they're not something that you can't necessarily build. I tell you, start in the fall. Start in the summer and in the fall. Start gathering your resources. Get your two cattle panels here. Get your two cattle panels there. Get on gardener supply. Get your aqua cones. Guys, the aqua cones were very instrumental in my tomato plants and my, my pepper plants. This is my year five or six or so in using them, and they work great, okay? I haven't had to use them a lot because this method alone is working so fantastic, okay? So I just want to encourage you on your gardening uh, methods and, and for you to try it. Don't be afraid to try. Get out there and go get what you need to get. Take on that leadership role, folks. 
uh, in your in your family and in your community. Uh, and and, and that, that's what it takes. And, and saying, you know, we're going to do this, and no holds bar. Okay, can't hold a good can't hold a good gardener down, right? Can't hold a good homesteader down. So the theory is, if you teach a person to plant tomatoes, they're going to feed their community. I'm feeding my community today, even into October in a drought. Okay, I've got folks in my community. Their gardens are long gone; have been pulled six to eight weeks. They might have some greens growing somewhere, okay? They don't have tomatoes. This is an exceptional resource for you to learn to grow and to work with for your pantry, for your back stock, for your neighbors, okay? This is an ultimate bartering skill, an ultimate bartering tool, because those that can feed, I'll let you fill in the rest. Food is important, skills in that realm are important. So keep building your skill sets Get with this method, okay? Try it. Grab the cattle panels and, you know, also, look, leaves are falling. I mean, we've got leaves everywhere. So I'm gathering leaves. I'm gathering my manure. I've already started dumping along in between. But I've left these plants, and I am just blown away. So I hope you like this video. I'm not done picking. I got out here, and I'm, we're working like crazy, like mad today. And I was like, I've got to get these tomatoes. I didn't realize I had this many. Uh, it's going to overflow this entire basket again. Exceptional. We appreciate you watching. I hope this helps you out. I hope this encourages you. We want to be a channel that encourages you on your homesteading, your skill sets, um, your entire journey. Really what we want to do is to encourage you to step forward and be a leadership in the whole entire movement of self-sustainability because that's what Granny did. Y'all take care out there. Like and subscribe. Back to Eden. Get with it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Be sure to check out Homesteading. Uh, it's Homesteading with Appalachia's Homestead uh, on Facebook. We have it. It's, guys, I, the, the requests that are coming in, I'm getting two to 300 requests a day right now. I woke up with 233 new requests this morning. I'm trying my best to, to go through and to, you know, to, to see all of that. And, but I've got to work as well. So we, I just love you. Y'all are just so good to us here. And thank you so much for supporting us and, and, and supporting us in our growth. And, you know, thank you for being there for us. And we want to be there for you. Back to Eden. Time to make more salsa, don't you think? Marinara, hot tomatoes, all of it is a possibility. Y'all take care of there.